Hey you guys, it's Miss Also Fabulous. So I'm here today to film my monthly favorites for you guys. It has been four months since I've done a favorites video. I haven't done a favorites video since my yearly favorites. So I decided, girlfriend, it's time to get on top of this. Get back on our game. Get back into the filming game. Like, boo boo. Get your life. Get it together. So before I get started, I want to tell you guys what's on my lips right now because I know I'm going to get a lot of questions. I'm wearing Stila's Patina and Camilo. I have Patina all over my lips and Camilo in the center. And then on top of that, I have a lip glass from MAC called Speed. It's S-P-R-E-E, -E, Spree. Yeah, Spree in the center. I believe it's like a limited edition. I had it from like years ago, but I like how this lip combo looks nice and glossy. So yeah, we're going to get started. So one of the first things that I actually want to talk about as my monthly favorites is a snack. And I've been meaning to put this in a monthly favorites forever, but then after I finished filming and editing, I remember that I didn't add it. So I filmed this video five times already. Ugh, let's not even talk about it. So I filmed this video five times already and... All five times I forgot to add this product so now I'm just going to talk about it first so the first thing I want to talk about this and is bomb this is a brownie brittle and salted caramel um, the first time I ever tried this I got this at Trader Joe's um, but I don't have no I got it at Roach Brothers um, when I was doing a wedding far out somewhere and I haven't been able to find these in my local grocery store now Shaw's does carry this this brand but they don't have the salted caramel they just have the regular chocolate chip and I love the salted caramel if you guys I have a very high salt palette so I love sweet and salty snacks this stuff is like the perfect after dinner laying in your bed watching Empire loving hip-hop you just need a snack while you're munching and before you go to sleep this is like bomb so I actually purchased this at my local Burlington Coat Factory it's right down the street from my house and it's only $5.99 whereas in the store it's originally $5.99 so love this definitely had to give this a shout out because me and my boyfriend go through a bag of this a week like we can finish this in one freaking day if we have nothing to do all day that's how serious this snack is right here so the next thing I want to talk about are two liquid lipsticks and they are both from dose of colors so the first one I want to talk about is this one right here and this one is called cork it's a really beautiful kind of um, ready brown color absolutely love this now I already have really nice full lips as it is but there's something about this color on my lips that just makes my lips that much more like voluptuous and juicy I absolutely love this and I love rocking this with Camilo in the center as well if you guys watched my last makeup tutorial my bronzy look I was wearing this liquid lipstick as well so I absolutely love this shade the next one I want to talk about is this one right here, and this one is Dose of Color Stone. I'm telling you, this is going to be the first liquid lipstick that I run out of, literally, because I wear this every single freaking day. Like, I love it. I love it matte. I love it glossy. It is just the perfect pinky nude for me. Like, it just complements my lips and my skin tone so well like I just absolutely love it and that's that color right there it's just so gorgeous now not many people can pull this color off very well if you're a little bit darker than me you would have to wear a lip liner but I can get away with this by itself it's just that gorgeous absolutely love it mm. I'm telling you this is going to be the first liquid lipstick that I run out of because I wear it that freaking much so the next thing I want to talk about is a NYX product and this is the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Duo. I did a review and demo video for you guys and I will leave that in the description box below if you guys are interested. Absolutely love this product. I think NYX did a great job with the formulation of this product. It's super creamy, super blendable. It's not cakey. Um, it For it to be a drugstore brand, it is... It's just perfect. I love the contour shade in it. It is amazing. The highlight shade is awesome too. I actually went one shade lighter than the one I should be going because I do prefer a brighter concealer underneath my eyes. So the shade I got in this one is Peach and Cinnamon. So absolutely love this. Definitely recommend that you guys check this out. I haven't seen this at like Target or my CVS or anything, but I definitely see it at... um. Ulta and that's where I purchased it at Ulta so definitely try this if you haven't tried it. The next thing that I want to talk about is a foundation and this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. 
Honey, I don't know if I talked about this in my yearly favorites, but this stuff is bomb. Duh, mother freaking calm. The shade I am in is in caramel. I feel like Too Faced did a really nice job with the formulation. I will say it again. Too Faced did a really nice job with the formulation of the color of this. I feel like the undertone of this is so perfect for me. I feel like I haven't found a foundation besides this one that is so spot on in color for me. Like sometimes I feel like with my skin complexion because I am that caramel shade it's either going to be a little bit too yellow too orange this one is just perfect right in the middle because I am a golden undertone I'm more of a golden neutral undertone so this is like the first foundation that I could wear that when as soon as I put it on you can't tell the difference from one side of my face with foundation on and one side without it on except for this side it's just like smoother but I'm not wearing this today I'm actually wearing the Makeup Forever HD I like wearing that when I'm filming but this stuff hands down absolutely love it it's just flawless um, I get a lot of foundations in my gratis and this is going to be the first foundation that I repurchase over and over and over because it's that bomb and the one thing that I did want to mention too it's a more of like a satin matte finish it's not a hard matte and a harsh matte finish and it's not like a dewy finish either but this is a hydrating foundation as well because it has coconut infused water in it so that's really nice the next two things I want to talk about are two brushes. Now the first one I want to talk about is Dirty, of course, because I used it last night. And this is the Pointed Foundation Brush from Real Techniques. I love this brush and I don't use it for makeup at all. I actually use this for facial masks. So when I'm applying my mask at night, I actually use this to dip in and smooth out my facial mask. I actually got this trick from one of my bridesmaids from a bridal party that I did. Um, she was applying a face mask and she was using a foundation brush and I was like, that that makes sense and what I've noticed in but what I've been noticing with using a foundation brush by applying my mask on is that I'm using less product I feel like when you're using your fingers you're scooping out way too much product and you're just scooping and scooping with this very little bit is all you need and then you just spread it out and this brush just spreads it out like a dream so I absolutely love this the next thing I want to talk about is this brush right here. And yes, honey, this is a fan brush from Morphe. This is from their Gunmetal Collection. This is the G23. When I tell you, this has changed my game. And applying the highlight glow, boo. Mm, mm. Yes, boo boo. Love this. I actually purchased this when I went to IBS New York um, um, last month. It was like March 1st that I went to IBS New York and they only sold it for like $4. So I believe on the site is like $8 or something like that. So I ended up purchasing two, one for me and one for my kit. But this, this brush is everything and I actually love applying my blush with it as well this just gorgeous it's just a wonderful brush I recommend you just get in your hands on a fan brush if you don't own one and something smaller like this because I have a fan brush in my kit but it's really big this one is small and tapered so you're able to really precisely apply whatever you're trying to apply in the area that you want to apply it so definitely loving that brush then the next thing I want to talk about is from Burberry and this is a Burberry cream eyeshadow Yes, honey. This is a cream eyeshadow in Golden Copper number 100. I love this. I've been looking for an eyeshadow that is similar to my skin tone, but that just offered a nice sheen. I just wanted something on those days where I really didn't want to wear too much makeup, but I just wanted a light sheen over my eyes without it being too bright, too champagne, too gold. And this color is absolutely perfect. This is it right here. It is just so gorgeous. It is just so gorgeous. Once again, I don't know if I talked about this on my yearly favorites either, but this product is just so bomb and I'm swatching it on my hand but you barely can see it like I said it's more like my skin tone but it has a light sheen to it I'm not sure how well you guys can see that but I absolutely love this love 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 this I love um, wearing this with just a orangey brown transition shade in my crease and then I just pop this on the lids and in the inner tear duct and add some liner and lashes and honey I am good to go now the next thing I want to talk about is honey the snot yes I got put on to the snot for those who don't know this is gorilla snot this is like a natural girl's dream for slicking down your edges because this stuff is bomb if you guys follow me on my snapchat a lot of you guys recommended that I tried this because I asked you guys what products were the best for natural girls to slick down their edges because no edge control worked for me. I felt like if I used an, a regular edge control, whether it be Hicks, the olive oil one, um, the silk and shine one, I just felt like 
I just felt like after five minutes, my edges just frizz back. With this stuff, honey, I put this on. I normally get dressed about 10.30 every day. Um, I have, end up going out and going clubbing the same day. I got home at 2 o'clock in the morning, and I even Snapchat and showed you guys. My edges was laid, honey, and I didn't sweat it off my makeup and everything. And them edges was laid, boo-boo. So I absolutely love this. I purchased this at my local Walmart. It is only $3.99, so this huge bottle, a little bit, is all you need. This huge bottle is going to last me a very long time so I want to thank you guys for recommending this product to me it is just that bomb that bomb so love this next thing I want to talk about is this right here and this is the Garnier this is the Garnier Skin Active Miracle Cleansing Water All-in-One Makeup Remover, Cleanser, and Refresher. So I love this. I purchased the one in the waterproof um, formula. You can get it in a regular formula and the waterproof. This is great for people with sensitive skin as well. I've seen this a lot of people talking about this on YouTube, so I decided to go and grab my hands on it. You guys can see how much I've been using already. It is just phenomenal. It wipes my makeup off like a dream. I don't have to rub and tug and do all of that crazy jazz because you guys guys know I love the Benefit Their Real Eyeliner and that stuff is so hard to get off but with this all I do is apply it on a cotton pad and just press it on my eyes for like three seconds and then just wipe away and it literally wipes away all of my makeup with like two swipes it's amazing so I absolutely love this stuff and then one day I had showered at night and I got up in the morning and I was just feeling lazy I didn't want to put on any makeup I didn't want to wash my face I brushed my teeth but I just didn't feel like doing anything so all I did was took a cotton pad and I put applied some of this on the cotton pad and just went over my skin and applied some moisturizer and my skin felt really good because like it says it cleanses and refreshes so it says no rinsing and no harsh rubbing so i love this stuff definitely recommend you guys try it if you haven't tried it i don't remember how much i purchased this for i don't know if it was like 8.99 or 9.99 but it was somewhere around the 10 dollars range so yes love this the next the last two products that i want to talk about are skincare products and i have to shout this out because once again if you guys follow me on my snapchat i'm always wearing this honey this is the bosha choco um the Bosha Choco Pore Putty Intensive Wash Off Treatment. This stuff is bomb.com. Like, absolutely love it. It's like two colors with the black and the white. This is really nice. Most charcoal masks um, dry out your skin because they're really drawing all the impurities out of your skin. But this right here actually hydrates the skin afterwards. So it has the um, charcoal mask in it and it has the white mask that helps to um, hydrate and moisturize the skin after it sucks all of the impurities out and I remember the first time I tried this product I had a pimple coming in on my chin literally after 15 minutes this is probably one of the longest masks that you have to leave on your face too most masks you leave on two three five minutes this you actually have to leave on for 15 20 minutes um, after I washed it off that pimple was gone honey yes this stuff is the business absolutely love it it's not one of those masks that dry on your face either it actually stays kind of dewy on the skin but I really really like it it feels really really nice um, my skin doesn't feel dry dry and tight after I wash it off so I love this I use it probably two three four times a week depending on how I'm feeling if I'm just bored I love just slathering this all over my face so definitely been loving this and let me tell you something let, let me tell you how you know Alicia loves a mask. Alicia is cheap as hell I'm frugal as hell and if I don't get it in gratis I'm like mm, I don't want it so I've been getting samples of this at my local Sephora. I've been getting samples and samples and samples. And one day I was like, girl, listen, we're just going to have to pay $38 and just buy it because it is that bomb that bomb so i absolutely love this product highly recommend you go to sephora and get you a sample if you haven't tried it because it is the business and then the last product i want to talk about is a night moisturizer and this is the clinique the clinique smart night custom repair moisturizer absolutely love this so this helps with cell turnover anti-aging um resurfacing retexturizing the skin this stuff is just bomb um i always use this I don't use this, you can use this every single night, but I only use this when I do a mask like this um, because I just I just feel like when I wake up in the morning, my skin just looks so refreshed, so brightened, much tighter. Um, I also feel like my makeup goes on and applies much better. Like I used it last night and honey, I am having a good makeup day if I do say so myself. So I absolutely love this. You can purchase Clinique at Sephora. Definitely recommend you guys try this as well. So there you have it, you guys. This concludes my video. I know you guys are looking at my hair, honey, like, girl, what's going on?
what are you going to tell us about the hair? Yes, honey. I will have a video coming up hopefully after this one on the tutorial on how I achieved this gray. Now, I will say the gray didn't come out as perfect as I would like it, but honey, it is still fabulous to me. I'm going to rock the hell out of this. So I have a video on how I did this. This is the same Eula version Brazilian body wave hair as I was wearing in my last couple of videos, the blonde one. I just colored it gray. So yes. So it's been like two months, two and a half months that I've been rocking this hair. So yes, Eula. Yes, Eula. And I'm loving this closure, honey. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. And I hope you guys are loving it as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any video requests, please leave them in the description box below. As always, please make sure you follow me on all of my social networks, honey. And as always, you guys have a nice and wonderful day. Bye, guys.